I'm here at Homegrown on King William, downtown Hamilton. My name is Chris Patterson, and today I have the opportunity to interview the event coordinator at Homegrown and local band Dead End Sessions. I'm here hanging out on the stage in Homegrown with Adam Carter. Now, Adam, how did you get involved with Homegrown? I, I've known the owner, Mike, for many years. I used to hang out here um, back when it was the Sky Dragon for the Bread and Roses Cafe before music was a main focus. And it was about a year ago, uh, I started doing some design work for Mike, and uh, they needed someone to take over the role of promoter, and I just sort of fell into the role. All right, and what kind of bands do you bring out? What, what kind of bands do the best, have the best draw here at Home Grown? The most important thing for me is that it's original music. We don't do the cover band thing. Um, we, we really like to focus on local talent, maybe one out of town band on every bill, um, but everything from rock, funk, Hip hop, we have uh, indie, indie music, folk music, everything. But um, some of the things that go the best here are definitely uh, the more upbeat, dancing things, particularly with saxophones. Um, we've had uh, the Soul Motivators in here a few times, and, and they're definitely one of my favorite acts. What separates the homegrown from a different downtown Hamilton venue? What makes it better? I don't think that there's another venue in town that has the feel that we have here, the stage, the connectedness with the crowd. Um, the stage isn't so high that there's a disconnect between the performer and the artists, yet there, we can fit enough people in this room to make it feel like a great show. We're obviously not a huge venue, so when you get 50 or 80 people in here, it can feel like you're playing 300. So how would you describe the, the sort of feel of Homegrown? Definitely very welcoming. Um, everyone here is treated with the utmost respect, um, and the artists, I like to think, are, are treated really well. And most of them tell me that they, they love you. So if I were to come down here on a Thursday, what would I find? Uh, Thursdays are our open mic nights. So people begin to show up around 7.30. Um, that's when we put out the sign-up list. People sign up from 7.30 to 10.30. Artists get three songs on the stage. They can play covers, they can play originals, whatever they want. There's usually a really good audience in the crowd, uh, attentive people. Um, and then from 10.30 to 12.30 is the open jam. So we provide the drum kit, the bass amp, the guitars, and uh, musicians just come up on stage and collaborate with each other. Oh, very cool. Is there anything else that you want to say? Uh, just that if, if people want to come out and see what we're about um, and enjoy themselves, if they'd like to get in touch with me and book a show, visit homegrownhamilton.com and you can get my email there. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Adam. Thank you. My favorite part about working here is that we have a space that is inclusive, comfortable, and that people can actually feel good about coming to. I really like to be able to work at a venue that shows the music I love in this city and welcomes tons of different people in, as Pam said, and also everybody who works here, we kind of feel like a family. I think that it's also good because um, Everyone who works here and a lot of the people that come in here are really interested in um, furthering the culture and arts of Hamilton. So they know that both if the band is performing here, uh, they're probably good quality, they're probably pretty local, and if they're not, it's cool that they're visiting Hamilton. Um, and a lot of the word is going to be spread not through just posters and social networking, but through the networking that goes on from people coming in here and talking about what's going on at Homegrown Hamilton. Don't forget to stick around and catch my interview with local Hamilton band Dead End Sessions. I'm hanging out with Dead End Sessions. Now, guys, where did the name come from? We used to just jam at a dead end. A house was on a dead end, so we'd always just jam there. That's probably where it came from. Um, someone always said we never thought we were going anywhere, so there was a dead end to our session. So uh -huh. There's a lot of different sources out there of where it could have come from, but I think it's because we used to play at a play at a dead end. Alright, so how did you guys get involved with Homegrown? How many times have you played here? How many times do you expect to play here? Uh, this will be our second time playing. Um, both times it was a headlining band asked us to play and this happened to be the venue. Um, <clears throat> it was it's a lot of fun when we played here last time, looking forward to it tonight. Yeah, they have like a built-in crowd here, so it's great. It's always yeah, good. Fantastic. Coffee's good too. What kind of music do you guys play? Rock? Yeah, I would say it's like a hard rock Reggae, funky, kind of reggae, hard, kind of rocky. Wow, so that sounds confusing. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's uh, tough to describe. All of the songs are very different. All right, what kind of influences, like what bands influence them to play? Um, I would say there's a lot of um, kind of sublimey Bob Marley kind of influences, what with the new singer coming Especially about. Especially on Nate's part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and um, 
Uh, a lot of Rage Against the Machine and Tool and Zeppelin and Incubus. Yeah. Solid. So if people wanted to find out more about the band, wanted to listen to your music, where could they go? Um, we do have a website now, uh, deadendsessions.com. Um, we also have a Facebook page, and um, you can Twitter. find. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We have and we have a lot of stuff. We're all socially. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fantastic. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. It's been a great time here at Homegrown. I highly suggest if you just want to hang out, catch some local bands, you come down. It's on King William. I'm Chris Patterson. We'll see you next time on Underground Sound.